What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Anthony Frizzone. Welcome to my desk. What, we're, what you're looking at right now is on top of my desk. If you're here for the third or fourth time or even the second time, you already know my name. I appreciate that and I have your back because I know you have my back by being a sub. So in return, I have your back. So if I could ever do something for you, you could pretty much rest assured if you had a channel and there was a topic, it didn't matter if I agreed or disagreed, I would give you a thumbs up or a thumbs, or a thumbs down. If you're willing to get in front of a camera like I am and do the work in return, I would give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I would actually, I, or I would, I would comment. With that being said, I would appreciate it if you would comment or hit the like button or subscribe or maybe even forward this video to a friend. Any action would be greatly appreciated. Show me that you have my back and in return you can rest easy knowing that I have your back. Today, we're going to do an unboxing. And while I'm doing the unboxing, as you know, maybe I'll just think aloud or I'll just bl it with you guys and um, tell you some stories, whatever it may be. But welcome to my desk. Without any further ado, um, let's get into the opening. So basically, I have a package here, right? And I am going to open it. It's something a little different. For those of you that have been following the journey, you are perfectly aware what we are doing. We are, I started out buying one 10th ounce coin. One coin. That's all I had the money for, actually, at the time. And a 10th ounce coin is a couple hundred dollars. I remember buying it. I remember saying to myself, geez, it's going to be forever before I fill up a roll. And um, it's not forever. I'm still going through it. We filled up the, the tenth ounce roll. We filled up the quarter. Now we're up to the half ounce. And we have six of them. Uh, the other day, I was watching a video. And the person in the video had a silver box. And inside the box, I was like, wow, that's beautiful. He had, a, he had something going on. And I thought it was beautiful. I, 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 guess I, th I like shiny things. What can I say? So what I did, I, I wanted it. And so what I did was I went out and I purchased a little silver box and, um, and we'll get into that more, a little more as it goes on. So this is definitely out of the ordinary. It's Monday morning right now. It's uh, not that early actually, it's actually 9.30. So it's, um, it's actually going to the, it's gonna be the afternoon soon. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and then I'm gonna get to work. But I figured while I'm doing the unboxing, you know, usually people don't like Mondays. Maybe this will put a chair, you know, a smile on their face and, uh, and, and if I could do that, then it's a, it's a channel that's working. So well, I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so you can see a little more. You'll see that it's 9.30 in the morning, whatever. Um, here's the package. Here's the uh, knife that I'm going to cut, the Spydeco, they call it. Okay, so let me, um, I'm going to just, oh my God. Okay, here we go. Hold on one second. So while I am opening this this little package, we're gonna, well, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to bullshit. it. So, you know, Monday morning blues, we all have them. I'm going to try to reverse that and try to make them into uh, basically Monday motivating morning <laughs> or whatever. Anything, triple M's, Monday morning motivation, whatever you want to do. Anything that puts a smile on your face, like I said, or get you maybe a little more excited about the day would be great because I know Mondays usually suck for people. Um, but so here's the package. I'm going to start opening it right now. You know, I, I am human just like anyone else. However, I've been to like this channel what i'm gonna as you know what i've been through i've been through an event that not everyone watching this has been through you know they say a person never really lives until they experience death one second i don't want to take away from the beautiful opening of oh again another package in a package all right so we'll get rid of that um no worries, make sure there's no addresses or anything. Like that. Okay, so before I open this, because uh, it's right here, I see it already. I'm gonna, uh, like I said, I'm just a little bit. I am not trying to sound morbid or anything like that. I just, it's, it's something that I've been through. I, as you know, some of you might know already, I felt like I was on my deathbed um, roughly around four or five years ago. You know, and like I just said a minute ago, if you think about it, they say, and if you haven't been through it, you wouldn't understand, but they say a person never really lives until they experience death. And trust me, anyone that's watching this that has been through something like that, through that scare, 
it's like opening the blinds on, on a window. It's incredible. Right after that happens and you think, and you know everything's gonna be all right, you come to realize that the little shit that you're worried about is meaningless. None of it has meaning. Things that I thought were so important about making a living. And don't get me wrong, everything has a little bit of importance, but not as much as, as uh, the stress that us Americans or humans or whatever, anyone in this world that we put on it. I mean, it's not that important to, uh, to make a daily, uh, a daily income, come on with a paycheck. Your help is much more important. You know, I started to realize that my worrying was for nothing. And all I can tell you for sure, it does not matter what you do for a living. It does not matter what you have done in the past. You cannot always control your situation, but you can control your actions. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to cry. It's okay to fail, but it's not okay to give up on yourself. Self-worth is very important. It doesn't matter if you're a truck driver. It doesn't matter if you're working out of your home like I am, doing sales. It doesn't matter if you're a doctor or the president of the United States. Greatness is not the end result. To me, greatness is the relentless work or the work ethic that we put in or the attitude that we have towards life. Greatness is showing up to make that delivery. When, when you could easily stay home, no one stops you from staying home, but you know that it's the right thing to do and you go forward with it and you bust your ass every single day working and making things happen. And it's not always about the paycheck. You know, a, to me, a truck driver is just as important as a doctor, obviously in different ways, but all I know is that we need them both. You know, a surgeon would be worthless without his tools. So at one point, that delivery driver had more importance than the doctor. The doctor cannot operate without his tools. So we're basically all team in this country or in the world. All we are, just we're just as important as the next person. It would be very difficult for anyone in any career at any time to get along without another person. You know, basically, it's the United States. United we stand. It's, there's a reason, I guess, they came up with that name. I mean, we are united. It's very important that we have each other's back, especially during this election. I'm not, I'm, but by no means am I going to talk politics because I, I don't know anything. Um, I just know what the news show you, shows you, and half of the shit is lies anyway and negative. Um, that's why a channel like this is great. And I, was, I remember being so worried about a channel, about doing a channel. And I could not believe, what the hell was I worried about? I was worried about nothing. And it took me three years to do this channel. So guy, here's the, uh, what I did was this. So I, I, I watched the video, a, a silver channel. I forgot the name of the channel, but it was a channel. I watched silver, ch I watch videos all the time. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see. So I ended up purchasing this little silver box. I hope it's not blurry. Um, so it's, I'm gonna open right now. And I have some silver in there. But what I want to do is, what I purchased in here is this little, these little silver uh, granules, I think they're called. Um, so there's five ounces here that I purchased, um, five troy ounces. Um, so it's pure, it's pure, beautiful silver, which is pretty, uh, I love it. It's like the way it looks. So my plan was to, I want to fill this, this box up. I don't know, I, don't, I have no idea how many ounces of silver would fit in there, but I want to fill this box up, and um, which is what I'm going to do. And I can only imagine how many uh, ounces are going to fit in there. So that's going to be my side, like my side hustle, so to speak. I'm going to be filling up my little silver box with silver little balls like this. Um, I like to make it myself, to be honest with you. And maybe I'll be looking, maybe I can get it wholesale somewhere. Who knows? But either way, it's, I'm going to, uh, it's some sort of enjoyment for me and I'm going to enjoy it. And I also picked up a coin, which you guys might, uh, it does in the news lately, the 2020 uh, one ounce proof because supposedly this is the last year that's coming out. Um, so I'm just gonna open it up real quick. I'm sure everyone knows exactly what this looks like. I mean, it's been the same for the last freaking hundred years. I don't know exactly how long, of course. So I'm gonna, I should go get it, maybe send it to PCGS. I, it's really not worth it, I, I don't think. Maybe I could be mistaken. Um, but I don't think it's worth it. And guys, I'm going to give you a little pointer. And, you know, I was talking to a couple of people that I don't even mention it on your video because someone else might get a chance to benefit from it. So of course I'm going to, of course I'm going to mention it on my video. Um, so I'm just going to 
try to focus on here. We're going to take this coin and I'm going to put it in here too with the other silver that I have, which is not much. We're going to take these this silver granules, I think they call it, and I'm going to, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Hold on, guys. Before I zoom in and put this in, I don't want to screw the uh, the video up. You know, there's three things that I look for, every, I try to look for every day, you know, for motivation, basically, because uh, that's what the, this channel also, if I'm able to help someone, and that's great, you know something? So the three things I try to look for every day but that is important, it's not like it's always on my mind, but one, I think it's important that you need someone to look up to. I also believe that you need to look forward for something, and you need to chase something. Those three things, you know, if you put that, if you like allocate, you put that into your life schedule. You need to look up to someone, you need to look forward to something, and you need something to chase. You know, my chase last year, I look at my YTD, which is your year to date on your, on your tax form. Um, I want it to be higher than the year before. And that's, that's right now. I, I mean, obviously things will change. Um, right now, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's important to me. And not important in any way, manner that means something. It's just important for me to obviously you want to make a living. And uh, if you don't have a mentor, find one. If you have nothing exciting next week, find something and put it on your calendar. If you're following this channel, you probably would like to own more gold. So you, you cannot build your portfolio without earning. So put a little time, extra time into your day-to-day -day work and try to hustle, make a little extra money and then buy some uh, silver or gold, whatever you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pour this right into that, right into there. Guys, did you know, th this is a fact, scientific fact, that gratitude reciprocates? Think about that. Gratitude reciprocates. How can saying thank you to someone, how, how, can, how can that be reciprocated? Well, to me, I believe that when you put something out there, you put it out there in the universe, it'll come back to you. Like, you know, I'm sure you heard karma. You know, you do something wrong, something comes back, bites you in the ass. Well, do, do this. Let's test it out. Hit the like button or the subscribe button. Do something good for me. And in return, it's something, it's, and I'm only kidding about doing something good for me. Do something good for anyone. And in return, you, something good is going to happen to you. It will. There's no question about it. I, I feel very strongly about that. A simple thing is holding the door for somebody. Anything like that. Just do something good to someone and something good will come back to you tenfold. You know, don't be afraid to face your fears. I wanted to do YouTube videos for years. Three years before I started doing, doing videos, I wanted to do them. However, because I was afraid, I never made a video. I was concerned that people would make fun of me, how I spoke, how I looked, anything, which is ridiculous. It was much easier to be afraid and not make videos. However, after my blinds were open, so to speak, and what I mean is, by my blinds were open, is very simple. Um, when I realized I wasn't going to die when I was on my deathbed, and I realized how silly these little worries that I have, how silly they are. And most likely, the worries that you have are also, and I'm not minimizing your, your worries, but most likely, they're silly worries that do not have to affect your life or get in your way. You can... I don't even think about making a video now. I don't care what I sound like. I don't care what I look like. Once you accept yourself, trust me, the, everyone else will accept you also. The world, will rec the world recognizes you the same exact way. So it all starts from within. You need to stop dying right now and you need to start living. So I remember the same thing like touching your gold coins. People will be worried about touching coins, which I think is a complete joke. And what I mean is stop, die, you know, stop dying and start living. And I, I don't mean any disrespect. I take death very seriously, of course. But what I mean is, you might have heard me say it. We only get one shot at this, man. You know, the other day I'm standing in line buying cold cuts. The person next to me says to the guy cutting the cold cuts, I'll have what he's having. I didn't even order yet. But before I had a chance to even say something, he was like, what are you so happy about? Kidding around. I said, what, what, sh what is there not to be happy about? And he laughed and he said, yeah, he agreed. And the reason why I say this, most likely, that what we're afraid of is meaningless. It's not even, it's, the fear is not even important. So you should just face fear in the face and, uh, and just do whatever it is that you want to do. So now I'm going to pour this in here. You know, to me, and I come to realize there's no difference. I was so afraid of making a YouTube video. There is no difference. 
standing in line and ordering those cold cuts and there is making a YouTube video. You know, the reason why I say this, most likely the fair that you have has the same importance as standing in line ordering cold cuts. So do it now before you can't do it before you don't before you can't do it anymore. So guys, um, thanks for coming to my channel. These are my plans. I'm not gonna put this bag in here like this, but my plans were. Let me zoom in a little more, see if it works. Okay, what I really wanted to do was just to fill this box up. So we have a long way to go and a short time to get there. I'm only kidding. Guys, please subscribe, like, smile. Do something good for someone today. It'll come back to you tenfold. Have a great day.